Jesus. Hi, I'm Katie with Wolf News. Does anybody know what time it is? These days, time is something that is very easy to waste. We have devices that constantly keep us connected with work, friends and family, and sometimes even with strangers. For some people, it is hard to manage your time. We will be telling you some tips on how to better manage your time. Prepare yourself first by taking 30 minutes of your time to fix yourself something to eat and relax. Balance your effort. Focus on your most productive time of day. Manage time in increments. Take a break. Keep track of your progress. Leave time for fun. Sleep for seven to nine hours every night. Seriously, does anybody know what time it is? Thanks, Katie, for your time. <laughs> Life is full of ifs and buts. Don't laugh. For example, you may want to go to the movies. If you went, you'd have a good time, plus your friends are coming. But you've got tons of chores to do. If you go, your mom will make you do, um, do your siblings' chores for a week. Here's another decision that you'll be making in a year or two. You're signing up for electives in high school. You really want to sign up for theater and band. However, both are time consuming. If you were in theater, you'd get to enhance your acting skills. But you're currently first chair in band and you're shooting for wind symphony in high school. Plus, you don't have to play sport if you're in band. When it comes to decisions like these, you're probably going to find yourself between a rock and a hard place. How are you supposed to deal with these, you may ask. The best way is to talk to someone who has experience with these things. It may be your parents, your older sibling, or even the counselor. If you do that, you're sure to make the best decision. Thank you. Well, if Hyatt doesn't mind, I'd like to talk about technology. A charge that Apple imposed to make iOS 7 more secure instead has dramatically weakened the security of devices running that mobile operating system. A security researcher has charged. At the CanSec West conference here last week, Azimuth security researcher Tarje Mand said that Apple made a major mistake when it changed its random number generator to make its kernel encrypting tougher in iOS 7. The kernel is the most basic level of an operating system and controls things like security, file management, and resource allocation. In terms of security, it's much worse than iOS 6, Mann said, soon after his presentation Wednesday in the great ballroom of the Sheraton Wall Center. He published his presentation slides and supporting white paper as evidence. And in a testament to the enduring challenges of game mobile security right, other presentations at CanSec West also called attention to flaws in the Android and BlackBerry 10 mobile OSs. The technical and complicated change boils down to how Apple calculates randomly generated numbers used in the encryption of the kernel. If the numbers can be guessed, their randomness is irrelevant and the kernel key to, con to control of the computer, or in this case, the iOS phone or tablet, can be compromised. Apple, he explained, recognized that the method of generating random numbers in iOS 6 could be improved upon. Its security engineers leveraged the phone's CPU clock counter on earlier version of iOS, Man said. That's not very good, but still somewhat unpredictable, he said. The problem with the new generator in iOS 7 is that it uses a linear recursion algorithm, Man said, well, it has more correlation before the values it generates. This makes them easier to extrapolate and guess, he said. Normally, you wouldn't be able to get any of these values in the first place, Mann said. The kernel exploit is severe, although Mann did not pair it with a vulnerability. Still, that means that anybody who can find an unpatched vulnerability in iOS 7, such as the Godavell vulnerability that was patched last month can gain kernel level access. Apple appears to be taking the flaw seriously, but did not return a request for comment. We will continue to update this story when the company responds. Apple's security Apple security engineers attain CanSec Quest approached 
a writer afterwards, and they appear to be kind of concerned, he said. But he cautioned that this exploit should not be underestimated and that left unfixed, it would effectively roll back 10 years of security hardening techniques in iOS. If you are looking to purchase an Apple product, this information is vital and it is for you. This has been Alexandria of Wolf News, and it seems my time has ran out. Thanks, Alex. Do you think football players are paid too much money? I do, and here's why. Drew Brees makes almost $10 million a year, and if you think about it, some football players make more money than the soldiers fighting for our country. Football players can make millions of dollars if people like the way they play and if they do good in the game. Drew Brees himself said that uh, football players do make too much money, uh, and he thinks that uh, no one in the world should make that much money unless they're fighting cancer or something along those lines. Now, personally, I mean, I'm not that big into football, but uh, I think that's pretty ridiculous, uh, in my opinion. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Touch this. My, my.